Welcome back to the Ultra Radical Toy Works channel, everybody. Today we are doing a video top 10 awesome Sofubi. So, this is sort of a callback to a video I did a little over a year ago, which was my arbitrary top 10 awesome toys of September 2017 video edition. It had a ridiculous title, and the idea was I was just sort of pulling things off the shelf and giving a little context as to like why I think they're awesome. Uh, and I'm gonna do the same thing with my Sofubi collection. So I'm gonna share with you guys uh, a very arbitrary top 10 awesome Sofubi toys November 2018 edition. Uh, I'm gonna pull a bunch of stuff off the, the shelf, the empty shelf, uh, grab some things from my collection and share with you uh, why I think they're awesome. This list, I guess, is in no particular order. I'm just sort of pulling them up and showing you. Maybe it is in an order. Let's be firm. It is in a very specific order. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys some awesome toys, some some really cool Sofubi pieces that I personally have a deep connection with, a deep attachment to, uh, and let's just, let's just show them to you. So here it is. We're gonna be counting them down. Top 10 awesome Sofubi whatever the title of this video is, November 2018 edition. Let's do it, let's show you guys some cool toys. Number 10. Bam, Killer J Sofubi. So this little kaiju uh, was my first real Sofubi piece. He's an awesome toy, he was uh, a steal of a deal from a friend. Uh, my buddy Larry hooked me up with this and I love him, I've always loved him. Uh, he was my first piece before I really even fully understood what Sofubi is and does one ever truly fully understand what Sofubi is? How does one clearly define art? It's pretty nebulous in my mind, but uh, this is the Killer J Kaiju. Love this piece. The paint on him is lovely. His sculpt is great. Just a really awesome toy. Number nine. Yes, this is Gordon the Garbage Goblin. This is a piece from Nate the Milkman. It was a gift uh, after he was on uh, the Good Morning Toy World podcast. He sent me one of these and he's amazing. He's an awesome piece. His articulation is wonderful. He's got some movement to him. His awesome spork spear can go in his hand and he can stab things. He's great, and this one's in a glow-in-the-dark uh, version, and I've never seen anything glow quite like this. Uh, he charges up super fast. Uh, like, if I hold him up to the light here, and then I stick him under my shirt, that's glowing. He's an awesome piece from an awesome dude, and he's just a nasty little trash goblin, trash pappy. Uh, Tony Velocity actually made a video about him. I will link that in the description. Uh, yeah, he's great. He's a wonderful toy. Uh, check him out. If you haven't checked it out, Nate the Milkman. Uh, links in the description. Number eight. Hansuke. This is the full-sized Hansuke from Skull Toys. Uh, this is an awesome piece. So, uh, the reason why he's special. I bought him, uh, at Five Points Fest, and he was a super, super impulse buy. He, he came up on the table, rather casually was placed out to be purchased, um, and I was surrounded by dolphins, and I had to swim faster than those dolphins. In that moment, I had to be a shark because I was surrounded by dolphins doing flips. So I wanted to grab him because I didn't want him to fall into the hands of evil. Uh, and he's lovely. At first, I was maybe a little bit like, oh, maybe you shouldn't have done that, Pepperchine. Because it was super, super impulse. I had no plans on grabbing this guy. But now that I have him and now that he's in my house and now that he's on my shelves... Uh, he's beautiful. He's an awesome piece, and I think because I have some of the uh, the minis as well, uh, the more I fiddle with these minis out in the world and place them down and snap photos, which I probably should share more of those with you guys. Uh, but yeah, the more the more I play with Hansuke, and the more I love this toy. He's great. He's he's wonderful. Number seven, Alley Man. So this was a lottery piece, a real head piece. This is an homage uh, to the Xenomorph from Aliens. Pardon me, Alien. Or aliens, whichever film you prefer, as long as it's not Resurrection. Uh, yeah, this is an homage to to H.R. Geiger. Eager? I don't know. He's awesome. This is a wonderful piece. I was super lucky to win the lotto. I've gotten a lot of good photos out of this guy. I love him. He's a very coveted piece. Uh, and Sam, he's free if you want him. Local pickup only. Come grab him. Beautiful piece. Definitely deserves a spot on this arbitrary list. Yeah. Number six. The Punk Drunkers Spider-Man Aitsu. Uh, this again was another five points piece. Uh, super, super lucky. I was stupidly lucky to win the lotto for this guy. Uh, he also has his uh, arm attachment. 
he's an amazing piece. He's an homage. Ooh, loud truck. I, I guess I keep saying awesome over and over and over again, but really, I'm just so grateful and so happy that I was just the luckiest boy at Five Points Fest and got to win him in the lotto, got a chance to buy him, because he's, he's beautiful. He's a beautiful piece, and he deserves a spot on my shelf. Number five. Kanatsu Daunagora, New York Comic Con exclusive uh, Halloween variant. <laughs> Quite the title for this kaiju kitty. Uh, why is he special? Why is it special? A friend hooked me up. A friend helped me out. Shout out to Dave. David, only me and his mother call him David. <laughs> Shout out to Zessy, to Zicey, to Z Zoomy Boy. He is special because of how awesome my friends are, helping me out, getting a toy when I couldn't attend the con. Uh, just, and he's a Halloween variant. He's got the Chelsea smile with the, there's a lot to love about this Kaiju Kitty. He's in, he's in clear orange. He's got some black. I made a whole video about it, a whole Halloween special about it. He's an amazing piece because he not only represents a holiday I love so much, Halloween, and creator, an artist that I love so much, Kanatsu. It also represents the kindness and awesomeness of my friends. So hell yeah, Kaiju Kitty. You deserve it whatever spot this is on the list. Number four. Mid-sized, real head, fun times. So this little green boy uh, was a gift. This was a gift from my buddy Mitch, and he is so special. It is so special because it represents, uh, again, the kindness of my friends. I was not expecting anything, and Mitch sent me a box of awesome toys, and this was in there. And it was, Amazing to receive a gift like this, something that is so special, something that is coveted, something that is just so interesting and neat, and at the time a sculpt I had never seen from Real Head. Uh, to get that in a box from a friend, shipped all the way from the glorious United States of America, to get this gift, to have awesome friends, to be um, appreciated like that in a weird way where it's like, you sir are deserving of this awesome toy. Um, that that in and of itself is super special and it's this toy is a direct link to my awesome friend that I've made through this hobby so hell yeah you deserve to be as high up on this dang list as you are number three we have to talk about him of course we do this is the Adam A piece that I won in the very first Sofubi lottery I have ever entered uh, I think the reason why this is so special, the reason why this is so important, the reason why it is on this list. I never expected to win, and I was very casual about my Sofubi hobby. It was a new hobby. It was something I was just getting into, something I was just getting excited about, and to enter a lotto and win a piece that's this sought after and in a color way that speaks to me as much as it does, I love, I love, love, love me some perp. It was the cornerstone, it is the cornerstone of my real head fascination and my collection. It is the piece that kicked off uh, what what I'm doing now. It, it's the piece that sort of set the plot for what I'm interested in these days, what's been driving my collecting these days, what's inspired me to buy plane tickets to Japan, plane tickets to New York to go to Five Points Fest, plane tickets to Anaheim to go to DesignerCon. Really, this thing inspired a lot of air travel. Uh, he's one of the, the main motivators of why I do what I do, and he's, he's beautiful, and he's spooky, and he's haunting, and I, I made a video about it. I love this piece oh so much, and that's why he's here with us today. Number two. Ooh, we're getting close to the end of the list. And this one's going to be a shocker. This one's going to mess you guys up. Bam. This is a piece from Bandai. This is a super domestic toy. Uh, this is like a $5 off the rack Ultraman villain. He is uh, Alien Icarus. But to my fans and to uh, my world here on YouTube and in Sofubi, this is Zubato. So he is a great source of inspiration creatively. Uh, his name was assigned to him by Tony Velocity. He's the one in the chat who called him that. And he, his persona, his, his character, his, uh, his essence is that of my friend Mad Chill Mitch, who uh, got me to line him up to shoulder rub uh, another toy, a Cord Viper piece. Uh, so, damn, where's all my Cord Viper? <laughs> that should all be on the list. He's great. He's just so innocent and silly and unassuming, and he's, at the end of the day, he is just a toy. He is, 
He's not really a piece of art the way these other toys are pieces of art. He defies all logic. My love for him knows no bounds, and it's all based on the uh, the amount that you guys uh, comment and make jokes and bring up this fucking toy. He became the star of the live stream when I got back from Japan and was showing everybody my toys. He's, he's stupid, and I love him. He's an idiot, but he's a glorious idiot. I don't know if I'm conveying this correctly. Maybe I'm being a little too hard on Zubato here, but I love him. Number one. Well guys, we have gone through many toys, a bunch of them real head pieces, and uh, the final piece, which probably does not surprise you, is also of the real head varietal. So this is the Chaos Man that I acquired while I was in Japan. I got an amazing opportunity to go meet Mori at his shop, and I got to chat with him. Uh, Cause I went early. I show. I was off. I got off the train and I was dripping sweat. I was gross. Uh, I was the only. I was the only North American man in the lineup outside the real head shop. But uh, I. I got to purchase this directly from the man himself. I got to meet him and shake his hand and say what up. And this is what it's all about. Because this doesn't just represent uh, the toy. This is a. A physical embodiment of an amazing trip. I was in my element, I was going around the world on an adventure, and I had one mission, and I didn't think I'd accomplish that mission. Real head pieces at Mandarake were ridiculous, thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, I wasn't really seeing Sofubi in little shops around Tokyo. I honestly didn't think I'd get to leave Japan with a real head piece, and uh, Thank you, thank you, thank you to, to Monsieur Mitch and to Mori uh, for reaching out to me and inviting me to the shop. And I got to purchase this from the man. It was one of the craziest experiences of my life. Like, getting to sit and talk with Mori, getting to, to just be in his neighborhood at his shop and, and to be nervous because it was a lotto as well. And like, just so cool. So this toy essentially is the centerpiece of my collecting, my Sofubi collection, um, because he really is just the linchpin. He's just this amazing, amazing, I keep saying amazing, chaos man. He's a physical embodiment of my amazing trip to Japan, as well as my friendships. He's, he's great. I love him, and I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at all of these various Sofubi. Thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like button downstairs in those comments. I know it's a lot to ask, so I won't ask you for a full top 10 list, but give me a top three, top three of your favorite Sofubi in your collection. Or if you don't have any Sofubi in your collection and you want Sofubi in your collection, hit me in the comments with what your grail Sofubi toy is. I know this was very much skull toys and real head. Uh, <laughs> not a lot of variety, I guess. I mean. Gordon's here, and Gordon's a boss, but uh, yeah, if you guys want to let me know what you're all about in the realm of Sofubi, please do. I would love to hear from you. I love chatting in those comments. If you uh, want to talk toys all day, every day, please join the Discord. There's also a link in the description. We have a section there just for Sofubi. That's pretty fucking cool. What other Discords have that? I don't know, maybe some. So thanks again. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye